Okay, so let's recall uh, report if uh, a note d power n by dx power n that is nth derivative a n d power n minus 1 y divided by dx power n minus 1 plus etc plus a n y is equal to 0 this is a homogeneous uh, ODE, the ODE with a constant coefficients. A not A n, A not A one, etc. Up to A n are constants. Now, uh, if we uh, want to find the solution, we just take e raised to m x y equal to e raised to m x, and we substituted uh, in this equation, equation number one, and we get a characteristic equation or auxiliary equation. So how to find characteristic equation? We can write uh, this in in a sim, uh, symbolic form. That is, a naught d power n, a one d power n minus one, etc. Plus a n y a n into y is equal to zero. So character for finding characteristic equation, you just substitute d equal to m. Then we get a polynomial, right? So we get the characteristic equation a naught m power n plus a one m power n minus one etc plus a n is equal to zero. So this equation is called characteristic equation. Now uh, uh, this is an nth order ODE. Then I told you that there are n linearly independent solutions. So this is a and then uh, we get a characteristic equation with uh, degree n. So there are n roots. So let m1, m2, etc., mn be roots. Then I told you that y, the solution is equal to y equal to c1 a e raised to m1x plus c2 a e raised to m2x plus etc. cn a e raised to mnx be the solution okay so this uh, we can directly write like this uh, when m1 m2 etc up to mn are real and distinct okay. now if if there are if m1 equal to m2 equal to m that means there may be repeated roots then we will write this like uh, c1 plus c2x c1 plus c2x e raised to mx. mx plus if other all roots are distinct c3 m3x plus etc so similarly if there are three roots repeated roots then c1 it will be c1 plus c2x plus c3 x square x now, if uh, there is a root, uh, a complex root, we, we know that if m equal to a, 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 uh, alpha plus i beta, then alpha minus i beta. E raised to alpha x, a so, cos beta x. Okay. E raised to alpha x, a cos, a cos beta x, plus uh, b sin beta x. Plus, if uh, all other roots are uh, real and distinct, then you can write like this. If there are repeated complex roots, and then I told you that e raised to alpha x a1 plus x a, a2x a cos beta x, and similarly, uh, we the last plus we b2 sin beta x. So, this is how we can uh, find the solution of OD. Now, if we know this, uh, we can easily solve problems okay so the last class we discussed this problem so now now we will do a problem solve initial value problem what do you mean by initial value problem y double dash minus 4 y dash plus 13 y is equal to 0 with y of 0 equal to minus 1 
y dash of 0 equal to 1. That means initial value problem means we, we will give an initial condition okay along with the problem so that we can find the uh, this constant unknown constant okay so now how to do this we have given solution y double dash minus 4y dash plus 13y is equal to 0 so first we will write the characteristic equation or uh, we can write this as t square minus 4d plus 13y is equal to 0. Then what is characteristic equation? Tell me characteristic equation in the m square minus 4m plus 13. m square minus 4m plus 13 is equal to 0. 0. So what are the roots? Less than 0. Complex complex roots right its roots are if you find that it is 2 plus or minus 3a okay either you can use calculator to find the roots of the uh, this characteristic then what will be the solution here alpha is 2 and beta is equal to 2 yes here is 2x a Vx, Vx plus B, B sin 3. Okay. Now, in an initial value problem, we have given y of 0 equal to minus 1 and y dash of 0 is equal to 2 so that we can find A and B. Okay. So, so when we put y of 0 equal to minus 1, this implies instead of x, I will put 0 then I will get the value 1, minus 1. So, minus 1 is equal to, if I put a 0 here, we will get e raised to 0, 1. A cos 0, A plus B sin 3 minus 1. So, A equal to minus 1. Similarly, I, I, I want to find out y dash of 0. So, we already know that y of x, then y, what is y dash of x? So I will uh, here. If I find the y dash of x, this is the answer. So four by two a raised to two x a cos three b three x plus b sin three x. Its uh, derivative is this. I am not going to do that. Okay. So if I four by two like four by three three b b equal to four by then our solution become y equal to e raised to 2x a minus cos 3x plus 4 by 3 sin 3. Now we will do next problem. Find the general solution of, uh, of 3 y double dash plus y dash minus uh, y is equal to 0. So, this is also very easy problem. Similar problem y dash plus y minus y equal to 0. Then, first you can write it in symbolic form d minus 1 y equal to 0. Therefore, characteristic equation is m 3m square plus 3m square m minus, m minus 1 is equal to 0. So what is the value of m? You can use calculator. So uh, the irrational roots um, uh, conjugate pair right eleven. Oh, there, there. Irrational roots um, conjugate pair. One minus one minus two. one plus two plus or minus root three root thirteen by six. Okay. Minus one minus root three by. Okay, this is a irrational I got a but she is the real and distinct term. So what will be the general solution? Solution. E1, E raised to, this is real, right? Real and distinct. So, minus 1 plus root 3 by 2x plus C2, E raised to. By 2 or by 6 on a calculator, it will be. By 6 on a. Minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. Root 13 by 6 on a. Minus 1 minus 1.
ചെറിയ മിസ്റ്റേക്ക് ഉണ്ടാവും I think next problem is uh, is a third order ODE. Okay. Third order. Uh, y the triple dash minus 2Y dash minus 5Y plus 6. Minus 5Y dash. Okay. That is this case here. Plus 6Y is equal to 0. So Y triple dash minus 2Y double dash minus 5 dash. y dash plus 6y equal to 0. Now, first you write in symbolic form d cube minus 2d square minus 5d plus 6y is 0. Now, you can write characteristic m cube minus 2m square minus 5m plus 6 equal to 0. So this is a cubic equation, right? So you can use calculator. I I already remember uh, first uh, first module is a number calculator. Like any roots and do it can. I am parna na thani, right? Yes, sir. So you just uh, find out that I think the roots are one, three, minus, minus two. 1 3 minus 2 all are real and distinct the general solution you can easily write y equal to c1 a raised to x oru pair conjugate um oru distinct um vanna matte formula illa conjugate illa illa complex complex matte idu ellam real and distinct aanu okay easy So this is very easy. अब आप complex में आते हैं ना initial in math का initial value problem में अपने सही बोलूँ। नहीं नहीं, ऐसा नहीं होती। तो वो बड़ा maybe नमक here हमको कुछ condition दो। constant है constant है उन्होंने क्या? मतलब इधर लोग a and b is constant, not variable. ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ so here complex roots and uh, this is also a direct problem here also given uh, mm, complex roots and real roots okay so we will do this d cube y by dx cube minus 8y so that is y triple dash minus 8y is equal to 0 so in symbolic form it is uh, d cube 8 y is equal to 0 now characteristic equation you just replace d by m m cube by 8 is equal to 0 so what is m q minus 1 plus or minus Minus one plus or minus root three. So general solution in the area. Here there is a complex root and one real. So then we C1 raised to one x plus C1 raised to two x plus C2. 
raised to o minus x c2 cos root 3x plus c3 same root 3 so here one real root and one complex root that means two complex roots any add the problem okay that is to say direct problem here in this problem you just check it uh, roots are one one and two that means there is a repeat so uh, the solution becomes c1 plus c2 x e raised to mx plus c3 e raised to so that's to say direct problem and uh, for this problem uh, there is uh, similarly this problem also see right zero and there is a complex root so that and that is also a direct problem and next problem is also a direct problem all real and this thing okay now we will do this problem so here find the general solution find the general solution of d raised to 4 plus 3d square minus 4 y is equal to 0 so we have given it in a symbolic form 3d square minus 4 y is equal to 0 now characteristic equation we will get uh, m raised to 4 plus 3m square minus 4 equal to 0. Now uh, the fourth degree polynomial. Right. So how to find the solution? Some trick is there. Okay. But uh, m raised to 4 and m square. So now then uh, I'm just m taking m square. Is equal. Zero is going to be equal. But m raised to 4 and m square. Right? So now m, m square na k na substitute is equal. We will get a uh, quadratic equation. So this will become k square plus 3k minus 4 equal to 0 okay so what is root e root and what is k what is k and the value in the 1 minus 4 minus 1 and minus 4 so that means m square is equal to 1 and m, m square is equal to minus 4. Okay. Now, which implies m is equal to plus or minus 1. Plus or minus 1 and here m is equal to plus or, plus or minus 2a. So, how many roots are there? m equal to 1 minus 1, 2 plus. plus plus or minus 2i so now we can write the solution right so there are two real and distinct roots so c1 e raised to x plus c2 e raised to minus x and there is a complex root and alpha no no alpha is 0 right 0 plus or minus 2i so you will get uh, e raised to 0 c1 cos 2x plus c2 c3 c3 okay c3 c3 c4 c3 c3 is it clear yes sir now no cut the problem e higher order higher degree uh, polynomial there there may be some trick okay. uh, this is okay. similarly we can do this problem also you can check it out okay. 
so here uh, fourth degree polynomial m raised to 4 plus 2 m square plus 1 you can either substitute m square is equal to k and you can find or otherwise you can directly write it as m square plus 1 whole square okay so uh, we will do this problem because there is a repeated complex rule system here. okay so find the general solution of y four plus two y double dash y so this in symbolic form d raised to four plus two d square plus one y is equal to zero which implies what is characteristic equation m raised to four m raised to 4 plus 2 m square plus 1 equal to 0. Either you can put k, k square is equal m square is equal to k or and okay m, m square put m square is equal to k which implies k square plus 2k plus 1 m and then m cube and then we say m but in very well from examining and the day so we pull it's not very easy to find roots of uh, fourth degree polynomial okay tell a calculator led in the mechanics and this but in general the other calculator level but we can find a, any polynomial of degree roots of any polynomial of degree 4 there is a formula big formula but if uh, degree of polynomial is more than 5 there is no method to find the roots of the polynomial there is it's, uh, there is no method you know there is no method and uh, we cannot find that okay. So, if I fifth degree of a third and the other, there may be some tricks. I'm going to let the third one. So, you can learn k plus one all square. So, that means k equal to minus one. So, m square is equal to minus one. Therefore, m equal to minus one minus one. m is equal to plus or minus i and also plus or minus i. So, there is repeated complex rules. So, repeated complex rules where my general solution and then e raised to alpha is c1 plus c2x cos beta x c3 plus c4x sin beta so here uh, alpha is 0 right e raised to 0 c1 plus c2x cos x c3 plus c c c4x sin one x Now, okay, now there are, there are many problems. Uh, all are similar problems. Okay. So you just work it out all, all other problems. If you have any doubt, you can ask. Uh, that is